everyone, this is Catalina from DaydreamingTrueReality.com and today I'm gonna teach you how to make really beautiful stickers with your Cricut Maker or your Cricut Explorer. Any of them will work and I'm gonna give you all the instructions you need for each one of them. Um, a couple of weeks ago I wrote this article about how to make stickers and it's beautiful. I mean the results are just so beautiful and I really really like them. Um, you can use them to decorate your journals or to keep track of something important like an appointment or you know just for fun. When I was growing up I really liked stickers and actually I wouldn't use them because I didn't want to run out of them. I don't know if you went through that too but for me having stickers it was like a huge collection and I would never use them. Luckily for us, since we have a Cricut, we can keep making them and making them and don't be afraid of using them. So let's just go to the computer and see how to make them. Before we get started with our stickers, I want to show you some of the ones that I did before for the post that I wrote and they're really cute. I, I made these ones and I used tons of colors with the, with the sticker sheet and is my favorite actually. I, I just love all of the colors and the images. And I also, this is the one that I did the step-by-step -step tutorial. In, I mean, there are already blank spaces because I've been using them, I really like them. And today I'm gonna show you kind of like how to recreate this because the way I made the stickers was, you know, from the beginning, from scratch, adding all of the shapes, the text, the images, everything. And I, on my website, I also have really cool templates that it will teach you how to make these ones, you know? So you don't have to add shapes or anything like that. Everything would be very easy if you just go to the uh, to my article and download the, the sticker layout over there. So let me just show it to you uh, where you're gonna find it. First, you need to go to they drove me to reality.com slash cricket stickers and here you can read all of the article it's really really cool here are the stickers and i teach you how to do everything from the beginning just in case you are not the type of person that really uh, you know you're not a video person uh, and here like it shows you how to do it read all of the photos it's really nice these are the all the step by steps that we're gonna follow I, on our tutorial but I want to show you the layouts let me go it's a long tutorial I, I love I like to go in depth so here you're gonna see that there's six different layouts and you can use them you know to add patterns or text images and use them for any sticker you can change colors and once uh, we finish this video you're gonna learn how to personalize them or in here i also show you how to um, how to upload them and and how to edit them and add different colors and you know look at this one for instance it's really cute those were really cool like here are some photos of how they look at the end I've been playing with these ones a lot. Anyway, so my point is make sure to go to my website and download the free templates. And now that we have that out of the way, let's just look into design space and let's start making stickers. Something very important and that you need to consider is the, the way you make stickers is with the print and cut feature of you know of your Cricut so what we're gonna do is that we're not gonna worry about that till the end we're gonna do all of our designs and we're gonna send that project to our you know to our home printer and go from there First, you need to consider the size that is the most important thing because when you are working with a uh, with your printer Cricut has a limit and you know, if you try to print something bigger, then you're gonna get an error. The way I like to start making stickers is by adding a gap line that is always gonna show me whether I am gonna, you know, stay in the size that Cricut allows me or not. So to do that, I'm gonna add a square and I'm gonna change the color for white. 
because it's easier for us to see. And then I'm gonna add a, the size for my sticker sheet. I'm gonna lock the proportions here. And the size is, I believe it's 7.75 by 9.25 inches. I think this is the size. Let me confirm it. I have it here on my article. Yes, 6.75 by 9.25. This is very important. Now, this is a the guideline that we're gonna use for stickers. Now, I really like to use it because sticker paper is extremely expensive and you don't wanna lose any single little piece of sticker paper, right? Um so we have our guideline. Now we're just gonna start playing and adding shapes that we wanna use for our stickers. Let's add a couple of squares. You can always, you know, copy and paste, you know, control C, control V, or you can duplicate here. Now what we what we wanna do here is kind of like add shapes that that we think that we're gonna use. We don't have to use them all but it really helps me to kind of like visualize things uh, the way they're gonna look, you know, kind of like it, do it that way. We can use circles, we can also use some hearts. And maybe we can also use, let's see, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe, maybe some hexagons. I don't know, let's see, perfect. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna start adding all of our shapes to the sticker a sheet or stick it, sticker guideline. What I like to do is that I like to unlock the proportions and kind of like, you know, start filling up this shape. You, at all moments, you're gonna be duplicating or copying and pasting, kind of like to, you see, to fill the sheet. And then what I like to do too is to select two layers at the same time so I don't have to duplicate them all the time. That looks good to me. Let's continue to do it. Again, Control C, Control V. And then we have this one over here, perfect. Now, something that you may wanna do is to use the aligned options. So everything looks really nice and ordered. So we can do like distribute vertical. It's gonna make sure that all the spaces here are the same ones. And then I'm gonna align to the left. So everything looks in place. Apparently I did a pretty good job from the beginning. So, I'm, so I don't have to worry a lot about it. Anything, anyway, this looks pretty good to me, don't you think? Now, what we can do is, you know, keep filling this out to complete our stickers. Now, look at, look at that. This looks really messy, but it will be a lot of work to organize all those circles. What we're gonna do here is that, again, we're gonna align them. So first, we're gonna click on align and we're gonna align them to the top. And now they're all organized. And now we're gonna distribute them horizontally. You see, they look beautiful and then you don't have to worry that they're not organized on the sticker sheet. here too. Let me get them all bigger. Um, I think that looks good to me. Now something that you can do is to create new shapes out of existing ones. Um, so let's just do kind of like a little, um, you know, new shape or design for a sticker sheet. For that we're gonna use a square again, we can just copy and paste this one to use it. And we're also gonna add a triangle. Perfect. 
So what we're going to do with our triangle in these two shapes is that we're going to create something completely new to add life to our stickers and something that is more fun and, and different. Just make this sure this sticker, the, the triangle is kind of like, you know, the size of the, the width of, of our square. What you can do too is zoom in very well. Perfect, like this. And let's keep increasing the size. Got it. So what we can do here is to make sure that everything is aligned well, we're gonna align center. Perfect. And what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna select both the triangle and the square and then we're going to click on weld there we have it now we have a little shape that we can use for our stickers and if i unlock the proportions we can increase it or decrease it i'm going to flip it like this way like this or i'm going to rotate it like this but i want it to be completely uh, you know 90 degrees so on on rotate i'm going to Click here, rotate. Perfect. And now it's completely well. Now what we can do here is kind of like go like this. Although you know what? I think since I the triangle is very pointy, um, I'm gonna use it like this. Let me show you. I'm gonna rotate it 180 degrees, and then I'm just gonna do something like that. There you go, that looks perfect to me. Looks perfect for me, I mean. And then I'm gonna add them to our stickers. At the top, we have them here. And then let's just continue. Control C, Control V. This project is very big. What we're going to do is that we're going to save it so we don't lose any changes while we're working. Hey, let's just do stickers. And let's put Daydream into reality. Because that's the name of this channel. Stickers Daydream into reality. Perfect. We have... All the things that we're gonna use for our stickers, we know that the size is correct. What we need to do is to fill our sticker sheet with tons of colors, text, and images, and all of that. We are going to delete our guideline now. It is very important that you delete it because at the end of this tutorial, we're gonna be using the flatten tool, and if your guideline is still there, your Cricut is not gonna cut through all of these squares and elements you have there. So just delete it and now we can work. What I like to do is that I like to select all of the things on the canvas and turn them white because I am more inspired, you know, to work with white than just with black. And we're just gonna use colors. We're gonna fill our stickers with colors, patterns, and text. With colors, I really like to keep it simple. You don't, I mean, you can use tons of colors, but I find it better when you pick three, four, no more than five, and just a couple of patterns to work with. Uh, so let's see what colors we're gonna use. We can, let's see. We can do a yellow color because I love yellow. And we can also do you want to do colors that the text is going to look good to our other images and maybe we can use like a pink one I guess let me see and 
let's do what about a nice purple but let me do a little bit more of this one over here And I think I also want to do a nice green one. Now, I really like using the colors like this. Just start with, with this. And something that we can do is that we can start selecting uh, the things that we want to use with each color. For instance, I want to use two banners. You can do a the banners, uh, yes, this could be kind of like banner, right? And then you select like, all the things that you want to turn yellow first. So I want to turn this yellow, then select which fit, uh, which shift at all times, and maybe a couple of circles here, this one, and this one's here. Maybe I want uh, one of these squares to be yellow, and two hearts. Perfect. And now I'm going to click again on line type and on the color box and select yellow. And there you have it. All oh, this turned yellow right away. You have to go on each single little square or circle or element to turn things the color you want to use them. adding color to all of the stickers as you can see uh, as you were able to see I when I sped up the video I changed my mind in some of the colors or I wasn't happy the way they looked and that's okay that's part of the creative process and we have to be happy with our design at the end what we're gonna do is to add some patterns to our design like maybe on big shapes like this one or this one or even some hearts so to add patterns I'm gonna choose the shape that I want to fill with pattern because we need to use the fill option fill is for print and cut so to add a pattern we're gonna use fill and then we're gonna change it for print when you change the fill for print you're gonna see that the shape doesn't have uh, the black edges those black edges means that you're just gonna call a green color or yellow or purple but this means that you're gonna print it and then cut it so we can choose from many colors or we can also choose from patterns today i want to show you how to do patterns you can upload your own or you can use crickets a uh, i had a pink what is the name of that Let's choose a pink one because the square was the square is pink. And again, let me filter here by kind of like by pink color. Oh, there is a lot of pinks here. Um, I want to use oh, the, this looks kind of cute and matches the purple we have as well. Now. Do you see it? Doesn't it look pretty? The flowers look like all saturated. So we can edit our parent pattern. You click, you will select it and click on edit. And now we're just gonna increase the size like this. You see, our flowers are gonna look so much better. And I can also move it horizontally. I can move it like this. And actually, I'm gonna move it. And type two mm -hmm. do you see how it moves and you can also flip it I think I like this better and I'm gonna increase the size a little bit more
Okay, this looks good to me. Now let's get out of here and now we have a pattern. Okay, now we have the stickers. I'm gonna save changes again, save, because Cricut doesn't have auto saves. And this is a very big and time consuming project. Okay, not very big, but you don't wanna lose any work or anything like that. Now we have our stickers. Now is add maybe some images and text. Let's start with images. So, you can add your own or you can look from Cricut's library. I like to use their free ones. So we can filter them, let's see, uh, free. Or sometimes you have some that are, mm, uh, that come with your machine and they will look on the purchase of the ones that, that you already have. And I think it's perfect, free. Now, I'm going to use this one. Here it's kind of like go image shopping, but for free. All of these images that I'm going to insert, they're going to appear a giant mess on the canvas area. They're, they're going to be on top of our stickers, so we're going to select them. We're going to select them all. And here, here, here. And then we're going to move them to the side. And we are also going to resize them so we can work with them better. so we can do it better. I think they can be a little bit bigger, right? Perfect. And I also like to uh, turn them all black. So select them and turn them all black. And now we're gonna get started. Um, to add the images, to our stickers. So for instance, like this one, I really think it would look nice here, don't you think? I really like this phrase. I actually make some t-shirts with Cricut Infusible Ink and I use this one for my t-shirt. I just think it's so silly and I like it. And yes, I think it looks good there. Now uh, let's do like this one, like your world is your canvas. Do it here, although I think I'm gonna do this one right maybe here. No, actually gonna do it here. At this point, you can just unlock the proportions and make things fit. Nothing has to be work around the things the way you like it right and we can do make dreams happen as well let's place this one right here and let's have it fit really nice perfect which one do you think where do you think this one would look nice It would look better on the, on the yellow one. What do you think? What we can do here is to add a little shape, kind of like to fill this space. Just add a, a 
carved and turn it black. And let's just put it in the front here. Kind of like you just see it. There you go. That looks pretty good to me. A you can use the original one here. We can also use some butterflies. So look at Francis's butterflies. They are grouped. So if we want to use just one of them, we need to ungroup them here. So select them and then click on a group. And now we're able to use the butterflies on their own. Mm -hmm. What do you think this one would look good? We can add a couple ones to our circles, right? You can use them, you know, maybe it's, they don't have to be on all stickers, maybe just on a couple ones. I mean, I'm just here trying to show you all the possibilities you have. Okay, now what we need to do is to add our text. Most of those can be text too. I don't know what, what you're going to use the stickers for, but they can do like for planning or whatever. So let's just do the days of the week. What I like to do is this. First, I like to add my, you know, like the days of the week. Let's do, oh, I was going to start typing them in Spanish. Let's do Monday. the text box over here. This is what I like to do and it will save you a lot of time. So you go to Monday, you press start Monday, Tuesday. So we have our words and now what I'm gonna do is that of course we cannot use them like that. So we are gonna ungroup them to lines. This is amazing. It's, I love ungrouping things for a, a, you know, by lines because it saves me so much time. So let's somehow kind of like, I'm not able to, let's select everything in our canvas and move it down. Perfect. Now let's just, you know, complete. Let's move the Monday. Here I'm gonna do notes, but here's the thing. Sometimes when I mean, if you were gonna put the notes here, it kind of like the pattern wouldn't let you see when you write. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna add an extra shape, another square, and I'm gonna put it. In, I'm gonna turn it white, and then I'm gonna unlock the proportions, and then I'm gonna just kind of. I'm just gonna have like the pattern, like a gonna look more like a frame perfect and now I'm gonna put here notes oh do you see the this one is not it since the square is the newest layer a our text is in the back so to bring it from we're gonna click on arrange and then send it to from perfect now we have notes here it looks kind of big so I'm gonna do this like that perfect Our 
sticker sheet is completed and we are going to go ahead and move to the cutting process. But first, what we need to do is, play, is select all of our, uh, all, of, all of the things that we have on our canvas and we are going to click on flatten and you're gonna see the change. You see how different it looks when you, when you click on flatten? Everything is on a single layer. Before we had everything in single little pieces, the text, the blocks, the images, but now it's in just one. And what Cricut is gonna do is that the blade is gonna go through all of these spaces. It's gonna go through here, here, the circles, everything where you can kind of like see the background, uh, the, you know, the grid, the blade is gonna go through that. And that's why you don't have to worry about one time or fill when, when you're gonna do stickers or big print and cut projects because at the end you can just flatten and then you don't have to worry about it. So now we are just going to move to the cutting process. Finally, let's click on make it and I'll see you soon. Oh, before I, you know, before we go there, make sure that you have selected the machine that you that you have. In this case, I'm gonna cut the stickers with the maker, but you can also cut them with the explorer. So let's click on make it and let's move on to cut our project. I mean, to print, then cut our project. Before we print our project, I wanna tell you something about the sticker paper I'm gonna use. Cricut has their own sticker paper, but this paper is very thick. It is extremely thick. I really don't know why, but it's kind of like a cardstock, but thicker than that, it looks really nice, but it got stuck in my printer the first time I used it. So unless you have a very, you know, big, expensive and Maybe not expensive, but you know, a better printing than I do, I guess. Um, I recommend you to use another brand of sticker. The brand that I like to use for my stickers uh, is the Silhouette brand. And I really had a good experience. And I think you would like it too. I've seen people that have, you know, that like uh, this sticker paper and they don't have any issues, but I did have it. I did have some of them and I don't I just want to uh, share my experience with you so you don't go through the same frustrations that I go and for this project we are also gonna be using the light grip mat I mean light grip mat if you're using the silhouette brand but you will use a standard green mat if you were using Cricut's printable sticker a uh, paper uh, you will use the green one because it's so much thicker and you can move on your light grip, light grip mat. Now we're gonna print our project. So when you hit on make it, this is the preview you have and this is how you're gonna, how your sticker sheet should look like. Check how that we took advantage of every single space pretty much. So what I'm gonna do now, so I'm gonna hit on continue and then I'm gonna print my project. Now, I gotta tell you that I don't have a lot of ink, so let's hope this works. I'm gonna send to print it. Make sure that when you print your stickers, you insert the page, you know, that you, that you know the side your printer prints on, because if you don't, guess what? You will waste your paper. <laughs> And we don't want them. So let's send to a printer. I'm gonna put in the sticker, the sticker sheet. I'm gonna feed it to my printer. Have it right here. And now I am gonna just leave all the options the way they come. And I'm gonna leave lead on. I do have an article of how to print and cut and I will also be sharing with you how to use this tool 
but today we're just gonna leave everything as it comes and then I'm gonna click on print. Now we're gonna have a, a, my printer print the stickers. So I'll see you in a little bit. My printer actually did a pretty good job. Um, I mean, I really have to get a better one, but this will do. Uh, for next time though, uh, what I would do and, and I would change in the design process is that I will make this uh, squares a little bit smaller. Sometimes when you are working on the screen, it's hard to see the size, uh, you know, 100%. So I encourage you to uh, take a better look of the measurements and see how big the, the squares and the little uh, things in the you know in the sticker sheet would look like uh, I didn't do it but I like it why not right so now we are gonna select our material so if you have a Cricut Explore machine make sure that you set the smart set dial to custom okay and when you select custom then you're gonna be able to look for the materials inside Cricut Design Space I have the maker, so I always, uh, since I'm gonna use the maker, I have to check for the materials inside Cricut Design Space. So let's go ahead and check out for the materials. Now let's do sticker. Oh, sticker. <laughs> sticker. Perfect. Now we have two different a. Uh, the options for us here and for three they have the clear printable sticker paper sticker paper and sticker paper removable now don't i mean if you're using the silhouette uh, or the ones that i recommend don't choose cricut's brand why because cricut sticker paper uh, the, the sticker paper that cricut has is very thick and if you select that one, it's just gonna cut through all of this. And we don't want that. So just select sticker paper removable. But if you're using Cricut's brand, use the Cricut's brand. And then we're gonna click on done. Now, we're gonna leave the pressure on, and just the way it is. And let's just start with our cutting process. Our machine is connected. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna load math so you have to install the, the sticker sheet the way you saw it on the preview when you clicked on make it. So let's place it here like this. Perfect. It looks nice. Oh, okay. Not ready. Sometimes I have a hard time making everything aligned. Perfect, that should work. So it should look kind of like this. Now, um, let's just feed it to the machine and I'll see in a little bit when the machine is done cutting. Okay, so our stickers are done. And something that a lot of people think uh, that the Cricut is not cutting well because in the circles don't look completely even. When you look at this, you will see that there is more ink on one side than on the other one, but this is totally normal. That is the bleed uh, that, that we added when we were about to print. And what it does is that Cricut extended the ink of that particular shade. For your stickers to not have a wide border i hope that makes sense i really like them i actually uh, like how not everything is completely uh, like matching or the blade is not going exactly where it's supposed to go 100 percent because all the stickers that i that i've seen or the sticker sheets are kind of like that nothing is 100 percent perfect and I don't mind about it. 
So yes, these are our stickers. I really like them and you can use them for your journals or you can write with them, do a lot of fun stuff and actually you can use them because you can just print them again right okay you guys i hope you enjoyed making stickers with me today if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified every time i upload a new video and i'll see you later bye